In this video, I'm going to be reviewing some legal memes. Let's see if you can have a laugh while we learn about the law. Let's start. Law student in front of professor, law student discussing matters. <laughs> I think my relatives and friends could certainly attest to this particular meme. You guys, there is no doubt, when I had just started law school, uh, there was this, this sense of confidence and this excitement that I'm part of the law uh, fraternity preparing to be a lawyer. And whenever there was discussions at um, family events or relatives would ask me a question, whenever I go to uh, reunions or whatever event, and they ask me, what's your opinion regarding this? You know, as a law student, now starting off learning about the law, you are quite confident and you know the, you, you think that you know about the legal principles. So you'll be giving legal, uh, not opinion, but giving legal feedback. Yes, my opinion is on this and that. My mother, I think, was the one who I practiced a lot on. Um, <laughs> I remember the times when I would be going home and I would learn certain uh, legal terms. For example, uh, in criminal law, there's a term called mens rea and actus rea, where uh, it's the combination of the elements uh, to prove that a criminal offence uh, may have occurred. So you have the mens rea, which is your mental capacity, the actus rea, which is the actual conduct. They must coincide in order for an offence to be deemed as being committed. So I would go home and I would ask my mother, Mommy, what is, what, what's your mens rea? What's your mens rea now? <laughs> ah, yeah, so this, this is the reality. But when you go before the professor, and you then ask, you then they ask you certain questions and you're making your presentation. I tell you, I tell you, you you're ripped apart. Some of them are but some of them are very stern. And yeah, they let you know that you don't know much and you're here to learn. So all those students who are out there, yeah, you you yeah, explain to your, your family and friends, but remember that you're in law school and when you're in law school you may be ripped up by your lecturers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Moving on to the other. A lot of students here anyways, you're wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a kind of hard one. No, that's a hard one whenever you're in law school. And but let me tell you why it's, it's so difficult to hear the word wrong. Whenever you are making a presentation or preparing for an essay or an assignment, there's no doubt. You spend hours, well, should you spend hours, at least for me, I spend hours, um, days, sometimes weeks preparing for a particular submission. And then when you go before <clears throat> the lecturer, they listen to what you're saying, or sometimes during your presentation, you know, that's wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. That's, that's hard to hear, there's no doubt, that's hard to hear. And I don't think that's just for law students, that's for all persons. In hearing the word, you're wrong, it's, it's kind of difficult to deal with. But it's all right, it's all right, you're in law school and you're here to make mistakes, you're here to learn from your errors and improve. So even if you're there and you hear the word wrong, you're wrong from your lecturer, don't be discouraged. You're there to learn and done is better than perfect. So even if you do make a mistake, that is the area, that is the place to be making mistakes, you learn from it and you become better. Yeah, you become better, especially in there. Let's move on to another one. Law students, when they win a mock trial competition, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, no, there's no doubt about this one. This is the reality, you guys. So, let me just explain what a mock court competition is. Uh, is see a mock court as a pretend court. Huh? And this, this is where you go before the students, they're given a fact scenario, uh, and they go before the court. Uh, there's judges there, well, 10 judges, and then it's, it's as though you're in court. So, you make your submissions, and they start to drill you. And it's, it's a lovely experience when you, you, you're successful at it. Or just the experience on, on a whole, it's a, it's a very maturing experience. I remember when I was in law school, I took part in uh, two mock, major mock competitions. There was the Jessup International Mock Court, which is one of the largest, or if not the largest, international mock court competition. It was the second time my country, or my law school, had attended. And we won some prizes when we had won. It was a really refreshing and encouraging experience. I learned a lot from that experience. and. I think the, the principles I learned there, the styles I learned there really assist when you come out into the world of work. So if you have the opportunity to be part of a mock, comp, mock court competition, yeah, take part in the competition. The other one was when I was in Hewitt Law School, when uh, it's a prestigious competition, not a court competition, and we, we won that one as well. And I tell you, it was a lot of work because you have to balance your schoolwork, your assignments, your exam preparation in addition to doing this 
mock court uh, preparation. Um, but it's an experience which I'm telling you, you would not regret. You would learn a lot. In the, you, may get, you may be embarrassed in certain points, but when you learn those principles, when you come out into the world of work and you become an attorney and you go before the court, you will be able to comfortably handle yourself when you're before the court. So take part in the mock court competition. I'm wondering which one I was. <laughs> Tom, Jerry, yeah. Let's move on to another. A fun fact, lawyers are the main reason why I highlight a company stay in business. <laughs> okay, now, um, me, I, I, I didn't really use much, much highlighters when I was in law school, but I have two friends who, uh, Arini and Alyssa, those were my study partners uh, when I was in law school, and those ladies would convert their books into coloring books. These, uh, their, their notes and their, their case laws and so into coloring books. I figured the reason for that was just so that you could highlight the major parts of your cases. Mainly case law they would use it for. What is case law? Case law is uh, you, it's a decided case of the courts and then you have to go through the cases, read the case, determine what the facts would be, determine what your issues are that the court decided, then decide uh, what are the relevant legal points. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. The legal points. And then you also uh, look for the, the major legal principles. That is what the case law is. I did a, a, a summary on a video regarding case law. So have a look at it. It was very useful. But this one is for my those two girls, Alyssa and Arini. Yeah. You are the reasons why. You are the reason why highlighter companies remain in business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Are they useless? Where's your law essay to me, dear? <laughs> Principles to include in your law essay, so I, I don't agree too much with this one. Uh, and professors are normally one who tries to, or they, they encourage when they're able to see that you can express your legal principles in a very simple way, straight to the point. Yeah, so the less words the better, but having to reach a word limit, I would understand the struggles, but don't do that. Don't, don't put irrelevant words in your essay, that's, that's not good. And you're not preparing yourself for when you come into the world of food. When you're in the world of food, the judges want to hear your points, what are your issues, what are, how are you going to be addressing those issues. Don't waste the court's time. Don't waste your professor's time. That's, that's a really important point, you guys. But, yeah, there's a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. Necessary to me when I was in law school. You guys, I just want to thank the lawyer issues on Facebook for sending some of these memes here for me, uh, for us to review. And if you have any other memes, you could always just leave it in the comments or just message, uh, email me and we'll be able to uh, have the team just prepare the memes and so so that I can review them on the spot. I also want to thank all those law students who have been looking at my videos. I understand that there are some schools who are using my videos for teaching purposes and I'm encouraged by that. Thank you guys so much for doing that and I'm hoping that you guys are learning one or two points. I said in this video, let me just... Uh, say hello to you guys uh, and encourage you to stay in school, learn your work and uh, be encouraged that one day you will be a lawyer if you are studying law. If you aren't studying law and you're studying something else, stay in school, you will become whatever you want to become. School is a good place to be in. You guys, thank you so much for your support. Remember that you, could, you should subscribe. All those who are looking at this from Facebook, what you need to do is come off of Facebook yeah, and go on to YouTube, type in The Legal Journey, and then just subscribe and you'll see all of my other videos. I will see you guys in my next video. You guys take care, laugh, learn about the law.